010201, taking a snapshot. Snapshots are great and a very powerful feature of VMware's ESX server. Snapshots let you preserve the state of a virtual machine so you can return to the same state repeatedly. A snapshot captures the entire state of a virtual machine at the time you take the snapshot. This includes the settings state, the disk state, and the memory state. The settings state contains the virtual machine settings. The disk state contains the state of all the virtual machine's virtual disks. The memory state represents the contents of the virtual machine's memory. Capturing the memory state is optional. So if you make some changes and they break things, you know, or something goes wrong, or you just want to go back to a particular point in time, you can with snapshots. Snapshots let you preserve the state of a virtual machine so you can return to the same state repeatedly. So let's take a look at making some snapshots. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up a console on this server. To do that, I'm going to right-click on my Windows 2003 virtual machine and select Open Console. And let's say we've got this server just the way we want it. So it's a good running copy of this server. To take a snapshot of it is very simple. All we have to do is click this button here that says take a snapshot of this virtual machine. Taking a snapshot is a synchronous operation. All user operations to the virtual machine during this period are blocked for snapshot and data consistency. The time taken to develop a snapshot depends on the amount of data and the load on the server. On average, the time ranges from 30 to 40 seconds for minimal snapshot creation. And the virtual machine can be powered on. It can be powered off or any other state. But what you want to remember is that whatever state you take the snapshot in, that's the state it's going to be in when you revert back to it. So if the virtual machine's powered on and you take a snapshot of it, you revert back to that snapshot, that machine is going to be automatically powered on. It's going to be in exactly the same spot, so that's one thing you want to note. So I'm going to click on that button to take the snapshot, then you can give it a name. I'm going to call this one version 1 since it's our first snapshot and we can say this is our clean OS install. Snapshot the virtual machine's memory? Yes, because it's running, so we definitely want to do this. I'm going to click OK and that's it. You've taken a snapshot. It's just that easy. Now I'm going to go back into our virtual infrastructure client and you can see the progress. Here's the snapshot. It can go fairly quickly if your hard drives are pretty small and it's completed. And it's just that simple. So now you've taken a snapshot. To look at the snapshot history, let's open up Snapshot Manager. To display the Snapshot Manager, right-click the virtual machine in the inventory. Then select Snapshot, then Snapshot Manager from the menu. This is the snapshot we just took, version 1. And notice it says, You are here. The You Are Here icon represents a state that is never a snapshot itself, but rather the virtual machine state after the parent snapshot. A snapshot is always a static record of a virtual machine state. The You Are Here state can be operational and changing. Even when you create a snapshot of a powered off or suspended virtual machine, the You Are Here state is not identical to the snapshot. You cannot go to or select the You Are Here state. You are here always represents the current and active state. So in the next section, we're going to look at reverting back to a particular snapshot. To summarize, a virtual machine can have one or more snapshots. Each snapshot consists of the following files. Snapshot differences file. VM underscore name hyphen zero space 0000 sharp hyphen delta dot vmdk where sharp is the next number in the sequence starting with 1 snapshot description file vm underscore name hyphen 00 slash 00 slash 0 sharp dot vmdk memory state file vm underscore name hyphen snapshot name dot vmsn semicolon 
size of this file is the size of the VM's maximum memory. Only if memory is captured, else the file is much smaller.